I think it's much more interesting to live not knowing than to have answers which might be wrong. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. The universe is much stranger than we think. Physics is like sex, sure, it may give some practical results, but that's not why we do it. The key to science is not accumulating knowledge, but questioning and challenging existing beliefs. The best way to learn is by doing. The highest forms of understanding we can achieve are laughter and human compassion. It doesn't matter how beautiful your theory is. It doesn't matter how smart you are. If it doesn't agree with experiment, it's wrong. Nature uses only the longest threads to weave her patterns so that each small piece of her fabric reveals the organization of the entire tapestry. I would rather have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. The most exciting phrase to hear in science, the one that heralds new discoveries, is not Eureka, but that's funny. You can know the name of a bird in all the languages of the world, but when you're finished, you'll know absolutely nothing whatever about the bird. Reality must take precedence over public relations, for nature cannot be fooled. Fall in love with some activity and do it. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter. Scientific knowledge is a body of statements of varying degrees of certainty, some most unsure, some nearly sure, none absolutely certain. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Physics isn't the most important thing. Love is. I believe that a scientist looking at non-scientific problems is just as dumb as the next guy. The problem is not people being uneducated. The problem is that they are educated just enough to believe what they have been taught and not educated enough to question anything from what they have been taught. The great fun in my life has been getting up every morning and rushing to the typewriter because some new idea has hit me. It's much better to live in the value of the search than to be stuck with a particular answer. The highest forms of understanding we can achieve are laughter and human compassion. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter. If you thought that science was certain, well, that is just an error on your part. Poets say science takes away from the beauty of the stars mere globs of gas atoms. I, too, can see the stars on a desert night and feel them. But do I see less or more? The imagination of nature is far, far greater than the imagination of man. It is our responsibility as scientists to proclaim the value of science and to explain how the scientific method works. There is no learning without having to pose a question. I don't feel frightened by not knowing things, by being lost in a mysterious universe without having any purpose. To every man is given the key to the gates of heaven, the same key opens the gates of hell. Study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. The worthwhile problems are the ones you can really solve or help solve, the ones you can really contribute something to. I can live with doubt and uncertainty and not knowing. I think it is much more interesting to live not knowing than to have answers that might be wrong. What I cannot create, I do not understand. If you want to learn about nature, to appreciate nature, 
it is necessary to understand the language that she speaks in. Physics is to math what sex is to masturbation. You can recognize truth by its beauty and simplicity. The imagination of nature is far, far greater than the imagination of man. The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. We are at the very beginning of time for the human race. It is not unreasonable that we grapple with problems. But there are tens of thousands of years in the future. Our responsibility is to do what we can, learn what we can, improve the solutions, and pass them on. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter. Physics is like sex, sure, it may give some practical results, but that's not why we do it. Nature uses only the longest threads to weave her patterns, so each small piece of her fabric reveals the organization of the entire tapestry. There's plenty of room at the bottom. Poets say science takes away from the beauty of the stars mere globs of gas atoms. I, too, can see the stars on a desert night and feel them. But do I see less or more? The first principle is that you must not fool yourself, and you are the easiest person to fool. Fall in love with some activity and do it. Nobody ever figures out what life is all about, and it doesn't matter.